so what all happened last week? You left us to our own devices. Well, that was at the yes. end. We went that, to that. Route 119, where we found a bunch of whale, uh, or a whale lord and some whale mare being attacked by sharpedos. So, me, on our whale lord, Tuba, said, we're gonna go help. And then we all got attacked. Seth, uh, Seth got headbutted, per usual. <laughs> and then, uh, we killed the shiny, uh, we killed the shiny, uh, Sharpedo. Because, uh, me and Spirit didn't know it was shiny. The one so time we... I keep my mouth shut about it. <laughs> so we revived it. And finally caught it. Uh, then we came over here. Where Spira, uh, bullied this man into submission. <laughs> while Eleanor and Seth had a fun time on the beach with the Pokemon. And, um, yeah, National Lampoon's Pokemon Vacation. Yep. That's not copyrighted at all. Nope. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah, and that's obviously then I had uh, about, I don't know, the last 20 minutes of the stream, I started having bad coughing issues. And uh, <clears throat> so we had to cut it, cut it early, which then turned into some really nasty allergies. Really nasty allergies that led into the next week. Yeah, I was, I was out of commission almost the entire week. It was ridiculous, which sucks because I was going to make video content. Who would have thought? Anyways, uh, so with that, uh, so you guys, do you, you want to head back to, to Kinswood or do you have enough healing items? I mean, I'd rather heal for free and save my healing items for the, the league. Mm, okay, sure enough. All right. But if she don't What do y'all think? I mean, the uh, spirit's fine with flying back. <clears throat> oh no, oh, okay. we were here. We've left our mark. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right. Well, then uh, with. Hmm? I'm sorry, I'm just you know coughing my lungs out. Yeah, yeah. No, no big deal. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. And we can go back to Kingswood. Whee! Woo! All right. And so uh, you can go ahead and take this time to heal up your Pokemon. Now, I will say, uh, it's probably going to be in the evening if you guys were to head back out. Because I know you guys wanted to get to Alpine Meadows. I'm not afraid of the dark. True. As long as there's not another spooky, scary forest that leads with a <clears throat> ghost adopting me. No, uh, from what you know about the I the Alpine Meadows, is it is a forest, but it is a kind of a quiet, uh, mostly untouched forest uh, you have heard from talking around with people in this town that uh, there is somebody that lives there he's kind of like another berry master oh. well uh, apparently his name is is a uh, gus and i was hoping it was biff <laughs> biff just actually in two places at once um it's i, I so would like it's been so long since we've seen Biff. He moved up here and established himself a berry farm. <laughs> yeah. He, he And he's actually just been plotting against us this entire time because we didn't take his meowth from him when he offered it the first time. Oh god, I can't believe you remembered that. I... I remember a lot of things. You know what, that, that is also, fair. I had started to draw something of that specific episode, uh, I was going to try to animate something. So I listened to that clip of audio like 50 times. Oh, yeah. 
That's that's fair. Um, can I also swap out some Pokemon on my belt? Uh, you may. Yeah. Can I take out Beans and Tuba for uh, Maggie and Mizu? Uh, uh, sure. Let me close Route One Nineteen. Pokemon storage belt. All right. So what was it again? Put Tuba and who away? And beans for Maggie and Mizu. And... Okay, sure enough. Anyone else? The Sharpedo oh. just needs to be taken off my belt. <laughs> okay, uh, Eleanor or uh, Spiro, what you buying over there? I'm literally just trying to remember where the frick the list is. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh. uh... Isn't it under uh, buildings? No, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Turns out if I thought about it for like five seconds, I could have found it. Trust me, I will. Hmm? Did you put Mizu on my belt? Did I forget to do that? Yeah. Uh, I don't know where. No, it, they're supposed to be on there. Um, uh, let me refresh them. Maggie's on there. Yeah, I see Mizu on there. <clears throat> ah, Seth, what did you name the Sharpedo? Uh, Palmeria. I don't even know if that's how it's actually pronounced. It's a type of seaweed. Wee. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, there she is. She's on the screen. There we go. We're all good now. <clears throat> I have to scroll through literally like a hundred different documents that are old school work from like four years ago. Oh god. Oh no. What is this one? Uh, he takes uh, Maggie off my belt and runs away. <laughs> I, su I support this chaos. I mean, he can hold on to Maggie all he wants. That's only really useful if we're in a battle. <laughs> no, don't you fucking dare, <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> you just see Eleanor start running by, calling out these fucking trees. Trees. And as, as she runs by, you know, bitching about the trees, get back here. <laughs> inside uh peering inside the the well it appears to be a, a normal well but at the very bottom of it you can just see lucille's uh glowing eyes and, and it's in her in uh, a kind of like a mischievous but sinister smile can i discern how much water is in the bottom of the well um. Mm, yeah, because I guess there there's a, enough kind of like light peering down. Um, I. So obviously there's, if you were to jump in, you would definitely fall. Probably eight feet before hitting the water, but you do know that it would be safe. To, to jump down. You know, I, I asked you if I could discern this, and then I thought about the fact I would not be able to get out. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't just say, oh, yeah, I jumped in the well. <laughs> She's just kind of watching Lucille, giving him the stern, like, mom look. Lucille just starts kind of, like, uh, skating on top of the water. Then you drop Maggie. <laughs> Lucille, please. Lucille, please. <laughs> I 
Lucio I love just. The fact too, they watched me run by pushing the <laughs> trees and haven't said anything. No, we're in the Pokemart buying shit. Yeah, oh, we're, we're okay, fair Pokemon. enough. I thought you were outside the Pokemart. <laughs> you you just you probably just saw like a blur of of burgundy just kind of like run by the the windows. Same also, shit, different this town. Is, this is not what I thought this was. <laughs> what do you think it? Oh, you thought it was like a, a a building. Well, I thought it was. It's very similar to um the like little shrines to Celebi. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> it would be more obvious if I didn't put the the foliage over it, the vines and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um. Eleanor starts ruffling through her bag. Okay. Um, what can she negotiate with? <laughs> Gotta do a trade. Um. Um. Hold Clearly, on. the answer is cheese. Could you argue that Eleanor can lift 89 pounds without injuring herself? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Lift with your feet. Or your legs. Lift with your feet. <laughs> I mean, your feet are attached to your legs. <laughs> Eleanor's gonna call down the well. Okay. Lucille, that if he comes back, that they'll have fun together. Sus. Sus. Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh. You you do that, and as you like look back down again, you can see that uh, that definitely makes Lucille happy, and it and he disappears for a moment, and then. Pops up on top of the well. With Maggie's Pokeball? Yes. Alright, she holds her hand out. Ball first, then fun. Lucille throws it at you. Like, uh. despite being pudgy, just kind of like tries its best to do a like a, a softball pitch. <laughs> you know, Lucille, you douchebag. Down here. <laughs> She's gonna pull the Pokemon sling out of her bag. Yeah, Lucille does a, a a front flip and then lands next to you. Lucille's going in the Pokemon sling. Ellen's <laughs> carrying him in the Pokemon sling. Perfect. It's me. I'm Baby. This I is... would argue that Lucifer is very happy with this and is just kind of like, oh shit, yeah, that's, that's not even his name, Lucille. You know what? Fuck it, he's Lucifer right now. Hey, are you gonna give Lucille a, a tricycle now? No, he doesn't deserve a tricycle. Also, <laughs> the reason I read it as Lucifer is because of the name together, so I saw the ER and my brain just went Lucifer instead of Lucille and Eleanor. Oh yeah, for sure. But anyway, uh, Lucille is just like kicking his legs like happily as <laughs> Eleanor is probably, you know, struggling just a little bit to bring right. it back this way. For sure. And, uh, as she gets about to the, the Pokemart where uh, she just needs to stop and lean against the building. Also, <laughs> the way the foliage is on here, it kind of looks like it says Mert. Mert. No, Mert. Neat. 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 Well, now that Seth has spent all of his money at meat. <laughs> meat. Uh, you, did you spend all of your money? Pretty much. <laughs> 
I still have like 16k left. I've got 800. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, full restores are expensive. <laughs> oh, you bought full restores. Yeah, that, that'd be why. I have super potions, hyper potions, uh, paralyze heal, ice heal, antidote, and, uh... Oh, maybe I should buy some more Pokeballs. balls. That's what Seth bought: six full restores and ten Ultra Balls. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was I was gonna just, yeah, I'll just buy some Great Balls. Um... Sounds like it's time to uh, get your gold cards uh, topped up by uh, Glucose no. Spotlight. <laughs> no, we are not. Why not? There's also, no reason to visit that man. I love that you guys. Constantly out of money, Eleanor currently has forty-one thousand dollars, <laughs> and the only reason she has that little is because she bought like a full-on outfit with the running shoes, the dark vision goggles, a gas mask, stealth clothes, and a psychic brace. Eleanor is rich. She's just holding out on. Yep. No, it's because Eleanor's played by the fucking cheap ass. <laughs> that is true. I hoard everything, like even in games. Like I'll, I very rarely use my items that I like find in the overworld. And it's like, all right, well, I beat the game. Yeah, I, I have like six hundred like max revives. What is the? What is the? Your total wealth, including the cost of your inventory. Oh, I'm um, over a million. <laughs> no, uh, my my total wealth is. Oh no, I see it. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I see it now. I, Jesus, I'm, I hate it, because <clears throat> I need to adjust my my light again. It's right in my face, so it literally duplicated a two. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, one hundred twenty-one thousand, and that's not including the fact that I oh. have. Jackie's phone number. <laughs> you have a little more than twice my total wealth. She's only got 21,000 more than I do. I don't know how that happened for you, Spira. <laughs> I don't know. Clothing. It really depends on what you've been buying. <clears throat> Lots of restorative items. Yeah, so as they're used, it's consumed. Whereas Seth maybe bought Um, I also love how I don't have the ability to Mega Evolve Corviknight, despite having the, <laughs> despite having the, um... Oh, right, yeah, I never, yeah, oopsies. Uh, yeah. I have, uh, what's her name? Bastille gave me her, uh, mm -hmm. or one of her, um... Let me check on pretty... gauntlets. Pretty, uh, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, okay, yeah, I do. So I can actually go ahead. Eight. Trying to remember. Trying to remember why I didn't. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because I just didn't have the regular. Mega Valor is fine. Uh, probably just didn't have the sprite at the time. Later. I just realized I was looking through my inventory and I was like, I could have sworn I had Corviknight Knight. Corviknight Knight? Whatever. Corvinatite. Yeah. Yeah. I still have my extendable gravity arm. I know yeah. you do. I can't wait for that to come out in a week, like a, <laughs> a weird way. To be used. Right. You can't grab things from three tiles away. Yeah. You can can I use it to artificially extend my throat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, you can steal Nestor's dignity from. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> 
got your nose. I got your nose. What is Spira's normal throw range? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. What the fuck happened with my window size? How long? What happened? What happened? What happened? Throwing range of seven. Even yeah. with the the extra from the arm, Seth still has a little bit more. He's eleven. Yep. I think mine's Ye like four. No, actually, it might be six. The big old yeet. Yeah, yeah, yeet. You know what? I wonder if this is why you don't have access to it. I'm having a really strange time with it not being able to upload the the picture just doesn't it's okay i'm sure seraphel would love to to make a custom uh uh mega hubris covered in blood i mean i can do that uh I've done plenty of sprite work. I did, uh. Oh my god. Bye. I just would need to think of an idea as to how to megify the, uh. Well, I, I guess for. for a sword? I, th I thought she was talking about Valor. I, I was I was just saying that, uh, for shits and giggles, we could, uh. we could do a, a mega aegis slash and and sh uh seraphel could sprite it covered in blood oh god actually i've already done that i mean i know the regular model is already <laughs> bloody but that's actually just the mega it just it murdered <laughs> the, the mega is it covered in blood <laughs> god damn it all right uh so with that is everybody topped up on items and we can get yeah. a move on yeah. build up and everything. sure all right so um you guys head back out to route 119 and because there's nothing else really going on uh you guys continue to alpine meadows